What's up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. <gasps> Say hi. Hi. We are headed to the Minnesota Pottery Festival today. The Minnesota Pottery Festival is in Hutchinson. Ooh, that's a little sunny. Hutchinson, Minnesota. So that's about 30, 45 minutes away from us and it's on the way to my parents' cabin. So we, what did we do this morning? We did a little wakeboarding this morning. which was super fun. Now we're gonna head to Hutchinson for the Minnesota Pottery Festival, which I am super excited for. They asked me the last two years if I wanted to be a part of it, but I've just never felt like I had enough pottery. So maybe next year, who knows? But I'm excited to see what's going on there. They do stuff, they have raku demonstrations, they have like wheel throwing technique uh, demonstrations. Are you ready for it, Ryder? Let's do it. Can you, can you cover up the camera lens, please? Excited for the Minnesota Pottery Festival 2019. I'm excited. <laughs> Ryder, are you excited? Are you excited? That was not very enthusiastic. It's like me like prepping for <laughs> for how can I be entertaining, <laughs> inspirational, and instructional. <laughs> Are you excited? All right, we're here. So, what are your initial thoughts? There's so much good pottery. There's a ton of awesome like, pottery. It's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. How much good pottery there a is. People. A lot of people. Beautiful property too. Clay really cool Coyote. Set up. Thanks Clay Coyote for this sweet event. Like, it just gets me to wonder, there are so many good potters out there. How do you, how does one stand out? It's crazy, like, you have to start a YouTube channel and act crazy <laughs> <laughs> to stand out because there's so many talented artists out there. This is my work over here behind this GQ looking photographer. Um, What's in here, we're at 1530 right now, is some copper mat rack hooks. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna take the can off, pull, put them on here, spray with alcohol, depending on which way the wind blows. Some of y'all could be in the path of fire. Uh, if it blows back towards me, which is, feels like I can't tell anymore, um, I will move around. So uh, if you are afraid of fire, this is not for you. If I catch you on fire, don't scream. I'm the one on fire. <laughs> Don't even put me out. Alcohol burns up.
there it goes. Oh, across the front, big cross on her. Um, yeah, whoever made the best chocolate cookies to us stuck with that week. <laughs> tell my room me. Why is right in? What's wet, man? Make sure that there's things coming in. I didn't tell us all. We gotta get a Tesla, huh? Because we can charge it in Hutchinson. All right, guys, we just finished up at the Pottery Festival. Had a good time, it's a hot. Just got some sweet drone shots. So, what a cool event. What do you think, East and Ryder? Yeah, it's very cool. Very cool. Fun to see a lot of different potters and that raccoon demonstration was super cool. Yeah, that's cool. But all right, now we're headed up to the cabin. Water. Lake. Let's get in the water. One thing we were just talking about was selling at art fairs versus selling online or in stores or stuff like that. I just said I don't think that I ever really need to or want to sell like at art shows, like like we were just at. Like it was awesome, it was super cool to be able to go and see a bunch of potters in one place. And it's cool for them to be able to go to festivals where a lot of people come just to buy and see pottery. One guy said he's gone for two weeks. Like he comes from North Carolina, the guy that did all that raku. And he was oh, like, really? yeah, he was oh, like, yeah, my wife, I've been married for, well, what did he say, 20 years, 18 happily or something. And he has said that, he says, yeah, my wife's not fine, I just leave for two weeks and I come do some some pottery shows and then I'll be home, so. That's cool that he comes to Minnesota. Yeah, he said he really likes this one for the girls and the fishing. The girls? Yeah, but then that's when he talked That's when he talked about um, that he was married. <laughs> so I don't, he was, he was an interesting character. My point of that is like, I personally like to sell online then you have the most up people, or in the at Mocha Monkey, that's the easiest for me. It's just put it on the shelf, and when it sells, it sells. That would be kind of be the same as selling in retail or selling is like, then you just bring it there, and you don't have to do like, you don't have to travel, you don't have to do the setup, you don't have to do the takedown, like the entrance fees in, in festivals and fairs. So I know I did a whole video about this, like I'll link it somewhere about like the five ways to sell your pottery or whatever, and some of the pros and cons. Cool to see so many people there checking out the pottery. Pottery is um, popular. It's popular right now. Right now, has it not been popular in the past? Well, I think it goes in in like waves of like handmade stuff comes in trends. Yeah. Like in the industrial revolution, like when everything was being like made in factories, I don't think handmade was quite as popular as it's like come back now in the last like decade to be like, oh, we don't want stuff that's like all made the same, yeah. like all perfectly perfect and made in a factory for as cheap as possible. We want like to own a piece of the artist, you know? So yes, it has, it goes in trends. And I'm sure someday something will happen, it'll come back. If there's like a big apocalyptic event and no one can afford anything. Pottery's probably not gonna be so popular when people are just searching for food. That's, that went, that went dark, sorry. <laughs> We like to keep it. We like to keep it upbeat in this channel. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go with some clips of being at the cabin right now. Ready? back thank you guys so much for watching this video what do we want him to do is hit that subscribe button bell and find us on Instagram all the things <laughs> all the things all right <laughs> see you guys in the next video shout out thanks Clay Coyote for throwing a great pottery festival maybe we'll uh, join you next year and be in it we'll see all right after, see you in the next one after what after you just said you did not ever want to do that that was a weird thing for me to say but sometimes I do things just because I feel like I want to, not because it's necessarily like the smart thing to do, you know? Yeah, that could be fun. Yeah, just because I think it'd be cool and fun to be a part of it. And it's like not that far from, like that guy drive from North Carolina, I can drive 30 minutes from Konya.
Okay, seriously. Now we'll see you in the next one.